tackler at linebacker. On first and ten, here's Holyfield. Taken down at the th for each those numbers you saw a career high in their SEC East clinching win at Kentucky last week. Swift enough for the first down near the th both came out of that win at Kentucky last week. Gilliard, the center, left very early in that game. On target from and into Auburn territory. From completing just under 68%. It was a 25 yard gain on the run Swift who battled a groin problem a lot. They scored 34 in Kentucky last week. The first team to score more than 20 against the Wildcats. They're looking to score in their opening drive tonight. Fools you. They bring these guys in so they, they make it look like they're going to run inside. You can't give up contain if you're a safety or a corner. That's just bad discipline on the defense by Auburn. Not just down the road in the Atlanta area. Elijah from College Park, Georgia. Play fake by Fromm, running out of time to the end zone with a flag down. It where Georgia has struggled to score touchdowns. And Holyfield right on cue, stacked up. We thought that at practice on Thursday night, he can really throw it. Second and goal from the four. Look out, he's dropped for a loss. That would swift the running back. Time for Fromm back in the end zone and too high over the head. Leads seven to three. Out of the pistol. Jake Fromm gave it to DeAndre. And won it in the last few minutes and uh, it was a huge win. Rallied from ten down. There's under seven minutes to go. There's a third down at eight after an impressive drive that stalled inside the five yard line their first possession Georgia now needs to convert on third and eight short throw to Swift and lots of running room high step here I mean he is a very gifted receiver if he comes out of the backfield you better account for him yes he's an outlet receiver but he is a dangerous guy to count for DeAndre Swift out of the backfield no egg made the tackle 25 yard gain a screen to Swift DeAndre Swift more as a receiver, kind of in the slot. Justin Fields returns at quarterback for second and six. Flip to Tyler Simmons, trying to pick up some blockers. Jake Fromm. 20 and three as the starter and on target to Terry Godwin weaving through. Inside linebackers and that opens up the middle of the field. It's man coverage, Godwin gets separation away from Jordan Peters. Find out he is a very bright young man. Elijah Holyfield, freshman next to him, playing with the right shoulder. Hardman went in motion and they flip it to him. He's an ex Fields, no hesitation, straight ahead, first down, 10 yard line. Again, when your quarterback runs, you pick up an extra blocker so the math is better you've got an extra tight end like a fullback and he's just this is a run all the way a 230 pound quarterback following the lead block by the tight end and an easy way he wants to do with it we'll start with Elijah Holyfield and he did well to get from single coverage and an incomplete pass now the cornerback does not have to look back at the quarterback as long as he doesn't make outstanding goal to goal situations and really the entire red zone Georgia not so much look out from in trucking guy coming in here he is right here he doesn't make the initial contact but as from is going down to the ground and the official on the field the review the ruling on the field of targeting has been confirmed games he's thrown 25 all year he handed it off and DeAndre Swift is to the one yard line Marlon Davidson who's with Jake from called the Auburn defensive line Sunday players Jim Cheney said it's the best defense we played this year and they're gonna back him up away from the one I'll start 79 offense five yard penalty second down things they're gonna try was more of fields in this part of the field Swift with a tight bunch of receivers to the right and Swift on his left hip. From 
Sutton running out of time, running to the line of scrimmage, and that's as far as he'll get. 25, number five for Auburn. Well, first of all, outstanding coverage by the Auburn defense. It's only a four-man rush, actually a three-man rush, and Derrick Brown was just kind of in a spy situation, and that's why he... Outstanding return. And Georgia sets up from the 41. Elijah Holyfield, nice cut. And a seven-yard game. Our team, some of our best leaders are some of our younger guys. Jake Fromm is a young guy. He's a sophomore. You wouldn't know when you talk to him, though. He looks older. Very, that's leading the conference in rushing. DeAndre Swift now lined up as a Wildcat. They blitz him. He runs through a big hole. Has a first down inside. Isaac Nada right here, the tight end. This is the key block. It was kind of a late shift to the Wildcat. Nada with the block. And DeAndre Swift cuts right off of his hip for the first. Swift ahead for a yard. Georgia. Tigers showing blitz again. They do crowd the line. Harrion runs through them. First down and shoved down the bounds. Excellent block on the outside linebacker. That was Darrell Williams, number 49. He blocked. And Brian Harrion with his first carry, and he makes it pay. Breaks a tackle. Hey, Daniel Thomas is one of our best tacklers, and he's demonstrated that tonight. Interesting motion. More pressure for Auburn. They don't get there. The man doing the dancing was Akeel Crumpton. He was going to be an option of some sort. He was just an outlet receiver. Fromm goes to him quickly. Is <laughs> Isaac Nada, number 18, the tight end on the left of the formation. Swift stuffed immediately by third down and four. Just a four-man rush from to the end zone. A touchdown. Tight side slot. Bunch formation. Nice out route and the ball perfectly thrown to the outside. We're one and seven. We're going to win eight in a row. We go to the playoffs. Why not? We can do it. DeAndre Swift into the secondary. Watch the center, Lamont Gilliard, go to the second level, right there and get the block on 57 to Shockler. From through pass by yeah. Stidham was a moment ago. Georgia trying to add to its lead. From back as the linebackers come on the blitz. It's linebacker pressure. The defensive end peels off, and that's why Jake Fromm had to just. In three years at Auburn, the defense has improved dramatically. Since he came to Auburn, third down and seven. From short throw and a good. Five man rush. From has time and a wide open receiver. Terry Godwin, touchdown, Georgia. Creative running the football, and you have been creative. What did you see that really worked you can lean on? Well, we're trying to run a little more gap than we have in the past, and uh, a couple counter trays. But we, we got we got to we got to get first down. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Good first down play there. From dumped it off for Holyfield, and a good tackle along the far side. Thompson, a top recruit, U.S. Army All-American in high school last year. Third and seven. Fromm gets away. Now he's across the line of scrimmage and down well short. He really got the double whammy on this play. Well, both inside guys ran a stunt, and Derrick Brown is going to hit him. His own guy, number five, Derrick Brown, hits him right in the right shoulder. Helmet right to the right shoulder, and when they were helping him off the field there. A military man as well. That, that, in the game, he did come back on the field. T.D. Moultrie, a backup in the game for Auburn. From in Auburn with a chance to stop and get their offense decent field position again. The crowd aligned, but then retreat, rushing four. From as a man open. First, nobody deeper than Tut. And another third down completion for Jake From. Now DeAndre Swift trying to turn the corner to Sean Davis run. on third down conversion. Holyfield the running back. Fromm faked it to him, looks deep down the field, and another tank. His career launch 55. That was in the Rose Bowl, the national semifinal, and he set the Rose Bowl game record, the longest field goal.
Boy, wide open Swift. Too much decision by Jake Fromm. He's not an intended receiver. He's looking right. It's not there. Dump it off and let him make one guy miss. You see those. The blitz up the middle. And you can't whiff when you blitz, and they did. DeAndre Swift. He comes right in. He's trying to be blocked by a wide receiver. That's a mismatch that he should have won. Yeah, absolutely. Godwin, the motion man from the pump fig in his direction. Throws it in. Jake Fromm. Elijah Holyfield. Georgia penalty prone tonight. Eight of them now for 60 yards. Swift breaks tackles and runs it down after a 17 yard run. Watch the backside guard pull get it's a little trap play. They haven't run the trap all night. They ran it 10 yards after the career high 156 of Kentucky has lots of running room. There's, he does drop that on the defense from time to time. And, and he does it on safeties. This is Jamie and Sherwood. Boom. Plant that right foot. Don't lose. He does it at full speed. Ooh, tough snap and from he was down. He was down on. He just he lost the ball. Gilliard just turnovers that were largely the product of bad snaps. We don't expect that from Gilliard making his 37th consecutive start at center. Holyfield bounced outside and to a perimeter run. Close to field goal range for Blankenship. From a difference maker now. Justin Fields in at quarterback, gave it to Swift. Swift He's at full speed now. And we asked him, how'd you like? I'll start. Number 53. Clinching his off hand. Mm. Five yard penalty. Second. They stick with him. He bursts through the hole, breaks a tackle. Across midfield. Gets a nice block down the field. And scores a touchdown. Big play down the field. There's receivers blocking downfield. Isaac Nada, the tight end, 18. And then the wide receiver, Holloman, number nine, with a key block. And DeAndre Swift does the rest. He had an 83-yard touchdown run last week against... He has Brian Herrion on his left hip as the running back. Herrion, tough run. Both play for Warner Robins High School. Yes, Jake, yes. Opener in Atlanta against Washington. Holyfield in the Wildcat. Bounced outside. They have been committed to their run game. 58 attempts tonight. They're 278 yards rushing and uh, coming off a 331 last week against Kentucky and takes a lot of pressure off Jake Fromm, too. Georgia and Auburn. 281 to 87. Nice patience by Holyfield. Both for effective games. Justin Fields back at quarterback. Competitor, and he's a better quarterback than he was a year ago. And the coaches have great trust in him. You hear the cheer, the fans like the fact they left. It's another situation like we saw at Alabama, like we saw at Clemson, as we saw this year at Notre Dame, where an experienced veteran quarterback who was winning was replaced by a backup who was perceived to give them more the rest of the way through this season. So well coached, milking the play clock all the way down. Holyfield ahead, and he.